Hello, hello! Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Yes, I watch these actually in my bed, which is just the best because who doesn't just love their bed? I love my bed. Okay, if you're new here, my name's Cassie and I basically live my whole life only watching chick flicks and rom-coms and happy endings, feel good movies. And I'm learning now that I was missing out on so many amazing movies. I have started this channel to react to movies that are way out of my comfort zone, not something I would usually watch and I am absolutely loving it. So I want to thank you so much for the support and the drive to keep going and keep watching these amazing movies that I've missed my whole life. So after I watched Band of Brothers, which was just life-changing, incredible miniseries for me, I got so many recommendations to watch this miniseries, The Pacific, by the same producers. I don't know any spoilers, but I have heard, I think Tom Hanks described it as a different DNA than Band of Brothers. I know it's going to be different. I'm a little nervous. Part of the reason that Band of Brothers was so good, these heartwarming, bonding, brotherhood moments. And I'm worried that this will be missing some of that, but I'm still really excited to learn more about this side of the world war and get to know more characters. I'm assuming this is based off real stories as well, but I'm not sure. So we are gonna get started with episode one tonight. I just wanna thank you again for being here. If you wanna check out full-length reactions, my Patreon's right here. Don't forget, it is so helpful if you like and subscribe, turn on the bell. Okay, episode one, let's get started. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. December 7th, 1941. Tom Hanks is narrating. Within half a year of Pearl Harbor, the Japanese controlled one of the largest territorial empires in human history. Their reach extending all the way down to a small remote island in the South Pacific, Guadalcanal. We were never told that we were going into there combat is. They told us that we Real were going to an uh, island that the Japanese held. Uh, they even called it Guadalcanar. They didn't even know how to uh, spell the name. It scares me today, and that's been 67 years ago. We had no concept that it was an important event. The main thing was to stay alive. So I obviously have learned about Pearl Harbor and the war before Band of Brothers, but that really did make it come alive for me and made it stick in my head, I guess. That's the word, it made it real because you saw the actual people. I think I, I said in another reaction, I think that they should show these in high school because there's one thing to read about it on paper or talk about it, but it's another thing to watch it. And especially seeing those veterans talk and then their stories played out. I didn't know that though, that after Pearl Harbor, it was six months of loss for the US and the Allies. I didn't know that the Japanese controlled so much, or at least I didn't remember. I did watch Pearl Harbor. I have seen that, that movie. Oh my gosh, was so sad. December, 1941, US, okay. Um, sorry. Vera. She's beautiful. I joined the Marines. Thought I'd do my bit. Take care of yourself. Wait, Vera, let me get that for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, I love her coat. Maybe I'll write you. All right. That was sweet. Japanese are in the process of taking half of the world with death from the air, land, and sea. Hitler is not gonna be our job, not until they can't whip him without us. <laughs> Marines will do battle with the Japs on tiny specks of turf that we have never heard of when we have swept upon the main islands of Japan and destroyed every scrap of that empire. The victory will have been won by you. That's a good pep talk. Those of you who are lucky enough to get home for Christmas, hold your loved ones dearly and then report back here, ready to sail across God's vast ocean. Is it like the paratroopers where you just sign up to be the Marines? Like, they're... So 
Hey, everybody! This is JP and Manny. Just get the job done and come home to us. I'm sorry, Mom. I cannot fathom, cannot fathom sending your son off to war. Wish I could have brought my typewriter. That's so, why uh, you need that. Oh, I thought I might fight by day and write by night, Dad. Oh, I hope I don't need a new axle. No way I'll get one. There's a war on. Everybody's got to make sacrifices. Your mother said I was a fool not to buy a Ford. He's trying to say goodbye to his dad, and he either just is too proud or just it, wants to pretend it's not happening. Goodbye, son. Come on, give him a hug. So this is December, it's still the same month that Pearl Harbor happened, right? Eugene, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, who's this? Mama's still there. Oh, does that mean he can't serve? Because he has a heart murmur? <laughs> oh. You're 18, Eugene. You don't need your father's permission. You can't go against him, Sid. 18. I wish we were going together. Yeah, well, you take care of yourself, Greaser. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I like that they're showing the before, you know, their families, and we didn't get to see any of that in Band of Brothers, really. Out of Marine to feed. Move, move, move. Police it up. Look what we eat. Look what we get topside. Oh, boy. What if you got seasick? Make sure you say what that else for me. The guy we just saw, Greaser? You guys are lucky I'm here because I'm planning to take out an entire Jap regiment all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone remind me why we're here again? I heard we're here to keep the Japs out of Australia. No, we're here to keep the Japs back oh, in the no. They really don't know. You want to know why we're here? Mm -hmm. Without a sign, his sword the brave man draws. And that's no omen, but his country's cause. Give me back my smoke. Well, like, you gotta stop this. Forget all the horse shit you've heard about the Jacks. Slaughtime monkeys want to use that shit island and its airfield to kill us. They'll go round eyed when the first American plane lands on their airfield. When you see the Jacks, kill them all. Oh man, we didn't get to see training camp or anything. We're just getting right into it. So this is supposed to be a surprise attack? understanding this correctly they're just heading to this tiny island because if the Japanese get control they can cut off Australia is that right cut off their supply chain to Australia They thought they were going to get out and start fighting, and they're all just chilling. Now what do I do? The islanders use a machete or a rock. Corporal Dobson says uh, the Japs might have poisoned the coconuts. They poisoned a billion coconuts? Excuse me. Hey, Doc! Another Doc. Oh, they have to be in the jungle. It must be so hot. And all that gear. Where did they go? Oh, I feel like they're gonna surprise attack them. Oh man, they just have to head into this no visibility. So is this a company that are all together on that boat? 
Oh my gosh. I feel like this makes it so much scarier. The heck? These are... Oh no. Are those were US soldiers? Look like they've been tortured, tied to trees. What does he see? What happened? That was the medic? I went to take a piss. Somebody opened up. Oh my gosh. Just like that. Let's assume the Japs are watching right now, preparing to come at us. Assume? They are. Can you imagine being on one of those ships? Looks like the 4th of July. Oh, there's a ship on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Killing them. Oh my gosh. Well, she went down with half the battalion's ammo, most of our grub and medical supplies. Oh my gosh. And a our ass wife. It wasn't a Japanese ship? The Jap Navy is right over the horizon, Phillips. If not now, then when? Can't fight them drunk, don't fight them at all. <laughs> there you go. So now they just wait here? So this is the writer. What do you mean they're just trying to find their positions? Jesus Christ. So all those ships were Japanese ships? And the Navy already left? How do they know? the river to come to them? Many bodies. We got a live one here. Name straight so far. Right Sir, got you promoted to corporal. Yes, ma'am, I am a corporal. <laughs> oh, shit. These must be the bastards who took Guam. Dear Vera, it seems a lifetime since we met outside St. Mary's. The jungle holds both beauty and terror in its depths. Yeah. The most terrible of which is man. There are things men can do to one another that are sobering to the soul. Yeah. Finally, 
Hey, the reinforcements. Hey, you guys forget to set the alarm? Yeah, where you been? Up with the son of Samoa. Screwing your girlfriend. Oh! 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 You have a girlfriend? Lucky me. You guys step aside. The real Marines are here now. And I've been here for some time. Yeah! Are those the... They look like they've been through the ringer. Yeah, it's those three. So they're in a different company? Your mother would like to know if you want us to send you your dress blue uniform. I think we get a lot of fancy dress balls around here. Hey, if we have one, can I be your date? You are ugly. I want Hoosier. Take a number. <laughs> this one here is from a buddy of mine back in Mobile. They read their letters out loud? I hope this gets to you before your birthday. Truth is, you're the lucky one, Sid. You'll never have that nagging thought that you let your family, your friends, and your country down. Mm, that's from his friend that's with the heart murmur. Hey, when's your birthday, Sid? It's a couple weeks ago. How old are you? 18. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Isn't it crazy to think about? Happy birthday, dear Phyllis. Like at 18, they have seen so much and been through so much. Here, these guys and us at 18, we're just worried about getting dates and getting into college and they had to grow up so fast. Oh, it's over. Okay, that went by so fast, the first episode. I really liked it. I feel like I did see like some of the brotherhood bonds forming. I really liked it that they showed some of their home lives before they came to war. I feel like that makes it a little more personal. The scene with all the bodies the morning after, it's hard because like he said, it's just, it's sobering to see what man can do to man. But if they wouldn't have done it to them, if they wouldn't have killed all those Japanese soldiers and the Japanese soldiers would have killed all the Americans and they would have been the bodies on the beach. So, I don't know. Oh, just war is just so terrible and I, I don't know. It's gonna be difficult to watch. I imagine that the jungle and heat are gonna be a very tough environment to fight in. Like the bugs and the swampiness and the heat. Uh, they're gonna have to go through hell. I want to start watching the next episode right now, but I'm not yet. I'm gonna let it sink in for a day or two, but thanks again for being here as always. You guys are the best. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you back here soon. Hope you watch a good movie with lots of popcorn.